Disney Eye system and cut my video editing time from six hours to just minutes. Since implementing it, my channel has grown to almost 10,000 subscribers, with many videos hitting tens of thousands of views. I'll show you exactly how to use Jimu to transform one long video into multiple professional looking short form clips with perfect captions, dynamic B roll, and optimized formats for every platform. And at the end, I will also show you exactly how many views my channel got this last month. The platform I will show you today is called gmu.com. If you click on the link in the description, you might get a discount if you sign up for the pro plan. But if you look at pricing, they also have a generous free tier where they allow you to process three videos per month and up to 200 megabytes per video. To be fully transparent, the gmu team has reached out to me. So I will be reviewing the starter plan today because they give me free access to use this plan. However, they have some powerful features that are totally worth it for me to use if I had to pay $4.99 per month. Without further ado, let's see what I can do. Simply go to this and sign in with your Gmail account. Once you're logged in, you see this interface. Click on Get Started. The two most powerful ways of using Gmo is either to use the AI Clip Maker or the AI Smart Editor. In today's video, I will show you how to use the AI Clip Maker, but let me know in the comments if you want me to review the AI Smart Editor as well. Let's click on the AI Clip Maker and let's upload a recent video that I've created. I'm uploading this three and a half minute video about how to create action figures with ChatGPT and Kling AI. And my goal with this is to turn it into multiple short clips that I can turn into Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube short form content. You can simply do that by clicking the Generate Now button. This just took a minute to upload the video. And on the right hand side, we can click on a caption template and select the preferred short link. I usually leave this on auto unless I know that I want the videos to be around 30 seconds long. But for today's video, let's leave that on auto and let's select a caption template. In this case, let's click on the Ali template. That one looks clean and uh, fits with my brand really well, but you can always change this later. So no worries if you don't like the template later on, you can always change that. After we selected these two things, we just need to click on generate AI shorts. And here we have it. It created five clips from my three and a half minute video that we can now review one after another. The first one is from zero to 38 seconds. The next one is from 38 seconds to one minute and 16 seconds and so on and so forth. Let's click on this particular video and click on edit. On the left hand side, we can see the different captions with each individual word. You can see that the caption reads, have you seen these? And that corresponds to the first line. After that is the next line and so on and so forth. If we want to change any of these captions, we can click on the right symbol and we can edit these captions. Now we go onto the spot where we see a mistake. For example, I don't want this to say Chachi PT. I want this to say chat GPT. I can double click on it and simply type in chat and then over here we have the next word GPT. So now it should be properly formatted and we can see in the, on the right hand side, it is now chat GPT. And if we want this to be one word, simply keep it as one word. And let's delete that. And we don't need this symbol. Let's remove the symbol. Let's play this back to see what this looks like now. In just a few minutes for free with ChatGPT, and I will even show you. There we go. That is fantastic. We can delete that white space. Let's check it out one more time. Minutes for free with ChatGPT, and I will even. Perfect. Let's play this back from the beginning. Have you seen these cool action figures that are going viral everywhere on the internet? I'm going to show you how to create these. In that is wonderful. All right, let's click on done writing because we just finished all of the editing. If we wanted to change the style of the subtitles, we simply select the subtitle style icon on the left hand side. Over here, we have a bunch of templates to choose from. For example, I like Ali. That's the one that uh, looks professional. In just a few minutes for free. With and it is very captivating. You can customize them by simply clicking on the caption effect and clicking on the edit symbol. Over here, you can now determine the font size. Now it's larger. The Y position, now it's more in the middle. Let's bring this back down. The default color, in this case, it is a, a background gray, as well as the main second and third color. And then we can enable emojis or disable emojis. If you enable emojis, it will insert emojis in certain intervals and they will be inserted here on the text screen. I'm gonna disable this because I think for my personal brand, it works better without the emojis. You can even customize the font what kind of style the font is, if that has shadows or a stroke, if it's all uppercase, and you can select the length of each line, if you want it to be three words, four words, or if you want to have full sentences here. I like these particular settings, four words, animation, and punctuation. I usually leave the colors on default, and now I'm gonna save this as a new template. 
Under the custom setting, we have now my own custom template. Before I show you my favorite part about the software that adds B-roll automatically to your short form content, let me first show you how to change the aspect ratio so that you can repurpose your content effectively for different platforms. As you can see here, the screen is currently still in horizontal format. However, I want this to be perfectly sized for TikTok or for Instagram Reels. We can go on the upper left corner here and select the 9x16 format. Once we click on the 9x16 format, we want to select the fit button right here. We click on the fit button and we can adjust where the fit is of the video by centering it on the video where our face is. If we go back to the beginning, have you seen it? We see that my face is now centered and now we can see that it's cropped to a perfect amount and fills the screen perfectly. Internet, I'm going to show you. Similarly, if you want to post it to other platforms, for example, LinkedIn really likes the one by one square format, you can do the same thing and adjust the cropping as you see fit. You have to create these in just a few minutes. For so let's go back to um, the nine by 16, center ourselves again, and let's play it one more time. And I will even show you how you can... All right, perfect. And that brings us to my favorite part, which is adding B-roll. Let's see how easy that is with this software. It is so easy to add B-roll by simply clicking on the AI B-roll button or by selecting specific passages where you want the B-roll to be shown. For example, if I select this passage, I can click on B-roll and I click on either generate unique AI image or I can search for B-roll. But my favorite feature is the add GIF B-roll because it is the most dynamic and captivating for my audiences. For example, if we see the line where we says here are going viral everywhere on the internet, let's click on going viral everywhere on the internet. Let's see if we find a GIF about going viral. Going viral. And let's select this viral count here. Apply this B-roll and let's go to that part. Let's resize it and let's play it back. Go back here. And let's play it right. Cool action figures that are going viral everywhere. Internet. I'm going to show you how to create. Perfect. That is great. Let's do another one uh, somewhere in the middle. For example, when we say uh, you can experiment with it, let's see how this looks without B roll. Experiment with it and alter it if you like. Use if I now want this to be more engaging, I select this passage, add the B roll, search for B roll, let's search experiment, and we see now videos of. Uh, b-roll footage that we can use royalty free here we have an experimentation lab with test tubes and i think that could work really well let's see how this looks awesome but you can experiment with it and alter it if you like use and now that the video is finished it brings us to the last step and that is creating captions that are seo optimized and captivating so that people click on your videos and stay to watch the whole video that is all integrated in the platform as well with the AI boost feature right here. If you click on this button, you get to choose the social media platform that you want to post it to. If I want to post it to TikTok, I simply click on TikTok and now I can click on AI hook title, AI description and AI hashtags. And this gives me TikTok optimized titles, descriptions and hashtags that I can use in my post. It goes through my transcript and it knows exactly what the video is about. In this case, it gives me the title create viral action figures with ChatGPT and gives me two emojis. That is a very effective title. And the description that I can add to the post is discover how to create viral action figures with ChatGPT. Watch and make them wave or step out of the packaging. Don't miss it. Follow for more. That is a really good title and it describes really well what my video is about. If you want to post this to different platforms, you can simply select the different platforms that you want to post it to. And you can see that the, in this case, it slightly changed the title and the description as well as the hashtags to optimize for each platform individually. For example, if you click on YouTube Shorts, you will see that the title in this case has again changed. It used a few more keywords, for example, easy tutorial that is more tailored towards the audience on YouTube. Now that we've generated an effective short form clip of my long form content, we can download this and upload it to TikTok, to Instagram and to YouTube Shorts. It is super simple to do by simply clicking the export button. You can select what format you want. You usually should click on MP4, the best resolution in this case, 1040, and I usually go with 30 frames per second. I always include the audio and the cover looks great to me. Let's click on export. All right, now that the video has been downloaded, we can now review it on our computer. Have you seen these cool action figures that are going viral everywhere on the internet? I'm going to show you how to... And that looks fantastic. It's in the right format. It has the captions. It has the B-roll that we selected and wanted to be included. And we can now simply go to our video platform of choice. For example, we can go to YouTube and upload it as a YouTube Shorts by clicking on the upload symbol. 
and simply dragging it over here to be uploaded to YouTube as a short form video. Before I show you how many views I got with this method of repurposing old content and uploading them as shorts in order to get more traction on my channel, check out Gmo for free with the link in the description and let me know in the comments if you're repurposing your content and if you're seeing success doing so. If you wanna see the manual process of how I approach repurposing and YouTube SEO, you should check out my guide here or the videos I have on my channel about this because I share exactly my secrets of how I I use ChatGPT in order to create titles that convert and have a higher click-through rate than other titles. Now to the exciting bits of me showing you how many views I got. In the last 28 days, I got 105,000 views from short form content, which gave me 203 new subscribers. Keep in mind, these are all views that came in just by repurposing my existing content into short form content that people like. If you want to learn how to optimize your titles to rank higher on SEO, you should check out this video next. Subscribe if this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.